Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I don't know why I sound nervous. <sighs> Take a deep breath, it's not that big of a deal. I just feel like I'm very like one-on-one -on -one right now <laughs> instead of like having a mirror in front of me and like makeup. Hey, I guess I, guess I have to get used to this interview life because you know, I'm gonna be famous one day. This is going to be a video that I did not think I was gonna be recording anytime soon let alone today and right now because it's my day off and I did nothing all day and it's not early it's seven o'clock <laughs> this definitely was not planned and this is really a video that I've been thinking about for a while and I knew I was gonna make it I just didn't think I was going to make it at this very moment in my life I thought I was gonna make it kind of down the road a little bit but for some reason something just sparked inside me and here I am everything's set up we're ready to go we're recording I guess I will just go ahead and kind of let you guys know why we're here so pretty much I have always been on this journey I guess you could call it kind of just like a journey of losing weight always just feeling like I I had weight to lose and never really feeling happy and confident in myself it started really as young as I could remember I I was always like a bigger child now I just want to do a quick little disclaimer and I really don't want people to watch this video and kind of like think what I'm saying is wrong I don't know I just kind of want to just put something out there where I just don't want like negative comments and especially what I'm gonna tell you guys about how I've kind of gotten to this point I really don't want people to kind of nitpick what I'm doing at the end of the day there's going to be people who are gonna watch this and think that what I'm saying might be stupid or they might not agree with it but you just have to remember that everybody is different literally everybody's body is different everybody's mind is different everybody's lifestyle beliefs thoughts everything is different kind of wanted to put that out there I just really don't want any judgment it's not gonna bother me if you do so I always kind of have the mindset like bring it on because it really doesn't phase me like I've been through it I've been dealing with it my whole life so at this point, like, you might as well just be a stranger on the street, which you probably are, and even if you know me, still isn't gonna bother me, I just don't care, I've gotten past that. So say whatever you want, but don't go trying to tell me that what I'm doing is wrong, because other people are gonna see that, and that's just going to put a bad taste in their mouth, and I'm not making this video to try to tell people that this is what you have to do, this is how my life went, this is how yours gonna have, is gonna have to go if you wanna be like me. I'm literally just sharing my journey. I don't know, I just think it's important to share, and I just wanna show other people that you can do it. I always like to say, if I can do it, anybody can do it, because I feel like I'm a really difficult person, and I always feel like things and like dreams are like impossible for me to achieve, and then I do them and I'm like, damn like okay I guess if I can do it anybody can do it because nobody is as stubborn as me it's just the Capricorn in me I'm just stubborn back to where we were I'm just gonna lay it all out there so this is just gonna be personal and whatever the way I want to say this is that I was always bigger than my friends I got my period when I was 10 so I pretty much started developing pretty quick like I got boobs really quick my body just started changing a lot quicker than a lot of my other friends of course, there are tons of people out there who also got their period at 10, but it's not the most common age to get it, and the people that I was surrounding myself with, nobody else had their period, and nobody else had boobs, and nobody else's body was changing. So I was always a little bit chubbier, I, my body just changed a lot quicker, so I always just kind of felt out of place. In high school, same thing, always was like a little bit bigger than everybody else, you know, everybody's like literally 90 pounds in high school, and it's funny to now look back at that because I was literally wearing double zero jeans and I thought I was fat and that like kind of upsets me because I feel like I wasted so much time thinking that I was fat when girlfriend you're wearing double zero jeans like doesn't get much smaller than that it's always been something that's bothered me um, as I got older it kind of got worse I always ate my feelings that was like a big thing for me my mom always makes jokes she's like oh yeah you know I would go into your room and in your nightstand you had a drawer filled with chocolate <laughs> look back at that now and I'm like wow 
like I did have a problem I mean literally my my nightstand was filled with chocolate and I would sit there at night and I would just eat it I just ate my feelings away that's just what I did never really gained weight like I said I was I was I was small but in my mind I was huge and then as I kind of started to get older stopped eating my feelings at certain times and I would do other things like I would make myself throw up or I would not eat and it was just kind of years of the same cycle going on. I would do a month of eating my feelings and the next month I would throw up everything I ate and then the month after that I would be like, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna go on a diet, blah 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 blah. And it was just kind of this like never ending cycle of feelings and emotions and just hurting my body essentially body my mind like everything was just so unhealthy and as I got older I got bigger and to the point where I wasn't a double zero anymore which there's like honestly I just want to put it out there right now that size literally doesn't matter there was times when I could be a 12 in jeans and then I would still fit in like my size 6 jeans from a couple years ago. I feel like it's 2019. We know that the sizing is different everywhere in every store and every brand. That's not even a topic I want to go over in this because that's something I could go on forever. Just to instill it in people that literally the number means absolutely nothing. Like that's all I'm going to say about it. But I just don't want you guys to ever stress about a number on your pants or on your clothes because... It's bullshit, for lack of a better word. You just have to find clothes that fit you and make you feel good, and that's genuinely all that matters. Years went on, got a little bit bigger, and would always kind of hear like little comments from people. Nothing like crazy, but it definitely started happening more and more. Like people were kind of starting to say some things or making me feel some type of way because I was getting bigger. Like I was growing up, my body was changing. I couldn't eat whatever I used to eat before. And that's just the reality of it and that happens to a lot of us like we could eat whatever we wanted when we were kids your body just changes you get older shit happens and you can't keep doing what you were doing before after high school i wasn't big again but in my mind i was huge i was probably actually i have my fitness pal which tracked my weight so let's see if I have high school on here. I've talked about this app before in one of my other videos. It like has made me realize how my journey has really truly gone. So actually this is great because I can see all my weight on here. 2014, around the time I graduated, I was 130 pounds. In two months after I graduated high school, I gained 10 pounds. A year later, I gained another 10 pounds, so I'm over at 148. I gained 10 pounds that summer. 155, 166. April 2018, I was 171. So in between February and April, of 2018 that something pretty big happened in my life my mom gave birth and my whole life I was only I was always an only child so this was really like something that impacted me pretty hard at the time literally 22 years of being an only child my mom has a baby I'm so happy for her but it was just like a weird life change that I, you know, I feel like it didn't bother me, but I guess looking back at how, like, my weight just went up, and I just am just remembering that year, not only did I eat what she was eating when she was pregnant, like, we would go on these food adventures together, which I wouldn't trade for the world, because that was so much fun, so I was just eating it with her, and I also took that year off of college, so it's kind of just like I was just almost, like, being pregnant with her, and just kind of laying around, chilling, eating. Wouldn't trade that for the world, but that was like probably the worst thing I could have done because that's when I hit my heaviest weight and I hit 180, which is crazy to even say. And I didn't even document it in my fitness pal because I just think like, like the shock of just seeing that number and like that was just crazy to me. So crazy because my boyfriend weighed less than me and that was the first time that he ever weighed less than me and that number hit and even though I didn't track it I remember it and I remember seeing it I was just like oh my god like I'm so close to 200 pounds I can't even like process but it hit me hard I felt like when I saw 180 I was like okay this is it I'm going to make a change this is the change like that was like it for me but in reality, it wasn't, and I don't really, 
I don't really know why and I feel like there's something that can't really be like explained in a video or explained by anybody but you're going to to have a certain point where you're just kind of just gonna do it for yourself and I feel like that's where I'm at right now and everybody keeps asking me oh like what made you finally do it I don't have an answer like there's so many times where I felt like okay now I'm doing it and I would come up with plans and I would come up with workout plans and meal plans and I'd start going to the gym more and I'd be meal prepping and none of those times were the time even though like mentally I was ready to put in the work it just wouldn't last it would just fizzle out usual vacation that I take with my boyfriend in the summer so I was like just ready I'm like I'm gonna work out eat healthy I'm gonna look good for this vacation I did the keto diet which I explained in one of my videos I'm not really gonna talk about it that much because I know this is gonna be a really long video I probably lost about seven to ten pounds got down to like 163 ish if you don't know what the keto diet is which i'm sure you do i'm just gonna tell you real quick in 10 seconds pretty much you have no carbs at all and you're just high fat high protein and no sugar lost the weight went on vacation decided that you know i lost my weight i'm just gonna eat whatever i want i ate whatever i wanted i felt a little sick bringing back in food that i wasn't eating for like a good month and a half and also my mind was just really messed up at the time. I was just in such a bad place with my weight. That whole vacation, I would go out to dinner and then I would get back to the hotel room and I would just stick my toothbrush down my throat and throw up everything. And that's not fun. Like I said, it wasn't like the first time I've ever done that. There was many times where I would throw up things. It's always just kind of been something that I've done which is horrible because now I'm like looking back at it and I can't even imagine doing that ever again. I'm definitely not 100% better. There's times where I will eat something now and I'll have a quick little thought in my head where I'm like should I go throw that up? But I don't and I haven't done it since that vacation. I pretty much just threw up that whole vacation. That was probably the worst I've been. Physically couldn't like think about what I was eating and thinking about it sitting in my stomach. It was just like crazy to me so I had to throw it up. That was just a really unhealthy, unhealthy time. So that was last summer. Then Christmas comes along. I get my wisdom teeth out right before Christmas, which I also did because I didn't want to eat a lot around Christmas. And my birthday is in January. Lost two pounds for my birthday. I was like, yay, I'm back in the 150s. This is so great. So I was like 159, kind of just same thing, just like not eating a lot. So in this whole time frame of my life, I've always had a gym membership. I've always like gone through these little phases where I would go to the gym maybe like two times a week. Um, but for me, like that was great. Or I would do at home workouts. It was like legit a roller coaster of the gym. Fast forward to right now. This is the smallest I've been since 2016. I guess I'm laying it all out there. So today I am 147, which like just blows my mind because I mean being 180 and now being 147, I kind of am just like where was all that weight? You can see it when you look at pictures like you can see where the weight was. But like just looking down at my own body, I'm just like I can't believe I had that much weight on my body like it was just so hard for me to do anything my boyfriend and I we would go for walks and he'd be like all right like let's try to like run for 30 seconds like do like quick little sprints and I couldn't even run for 30 seconds I mean my ankles hurt everything just hurt like a cliche thing to say but like you can't love anyone until you love yourself honestly when I think about the last couple years I feel like I spent so much time just thinking about myself and just thinking about how much I hated myself. I wasn't able to give people me or be in the present. Like I remember when my sister was born and I held her and I looked back at a picture and I was just like, she's gonna look at me and, and like look at this picture and just be like, I have like a fat sister. And that's just all I could think about every single day, every night. It was just my weight, my weight, my weight, food, my weight, the gym. I gotta lose weight. What am I gonna do? I would stay up until the crazy hours of the morning making like a workout plan that I was gonna follow for a month. I would go through these periods where I'm like, okay, today's the day, tomorrow's the day. And everybody always asks, why now? Like what, what switch went off where you were like, now's the time? And there 
honestly was no switch there was nothing I feel like when you think about it a lot and you come up with these plans and even do something as little as make like a Pinterest board of things that you're gonna eat I feel like that's creating some sort of plan and a lot of people don't stick to plans when you make a plan with your friend or you're kind of like Ugh, like why did I make that plan I have to cancel everybody does that I'm the queen of making plans and canceling them so essentially what I was doing every single time was making a plan you don't need a plan you need to have some sort of idea of what you're gonna do you need to have your goal in mind of course I mean my goal was really vague I was just like I want to lose weight I just feel like these years have just been snowballing and Finally, it's like a big ass snowball just hit me hard. It just smacked me in the face and I wasn't even ready for it. I had no plan. I had no food ready to start this journey. I had nothing. It just hit me out of nowhere. So what I've been doing, pretty much I am eating really clean. I kind of just try to stick to having healthy carbs. So I'll have sweet potatoes. Kodiak cakes is one of like my favorite things ever. I have that for breakfast. A lot, especially if I know that I'm going to be working that day and I'm not going to be eating for a while and I'm going to be on my feet for a while. They're really good and they're high in protein so it's not just like you're having a plain Jane waffle. Carbs are not the enemy and I feel like when I was on the keto diet I just felt like they were literally the devil and that they were going to ruin me and destroy me. You just have to be picky with your carbs. Bananas have carbs but it is a healthy carb. But like I wouldn't have like a protein waffle and a banana in the same day. I pretty much just eat super duper clean. I did get a food scale so sometimes I'll track like how much chicken breast I'm having and it's just kind of for me to know and I track everything in the My Fitness Pal app. Literally a food scale I think was like nine dollars off Amazon so it's not even like it's like a crazy investment like seriously you can skip Starbucks for a day and you can get yourself a food scale instead and then what I feel like what really helps me personally is that once a week I have a cheat meal see do I have you guys now <laughs> not a cheat day where I'm gonna go and just eat whatever I want a cheat meal I did do a lot of research about this so I'm not just pulling this out of nowhere. The reason that I do this is because I've always hit a little plateau. I know this happens to everybody and I know that everybody always just says to push through it and that, you know, it'll go away. The reason why I add a cheat meal a week is because all week I'm eating super clean, super great, and then when I have this cheat meal, it pretty much just spikes my metabolism. Just what's been working for me. The first two weeks of this sort of like new journey that I've been on I guess. I did do a caloric deficit and literally that just means that you just don't have a lot of calories so I was just eating about 600 calories a day and if I was working out I was having about 900. Not only helped my weight kind of jump start but it also kind of helped my body I guess calm down because before that I would do these diets and then I would be craving like mentally just craving things that I like to eat like just craving pasta craving chicken parm cookies cake craving it all the problem before is that I was doing it every single week or multiple times a week food was legit my life and now I'm better the caloric deficit just kind of helped train my body a little bit and just kind of helped my mindset. I also lost a lot of weight, which helps. You know, it helps to see that number go down. Consistency is key, and I know everybody always says that. It's a cliche for a reason, because it's the truth. Like, you just genuinely have to be consistent because the results will come. Let's talk about the gym. So, like I said, the gym was always a roller coaster. I went on and off. I go five times a week consistently every single week for the past month which is huge for me I lift weights when I go to the gym so I'll I pretty much do whatever my boyfriend does one day you do back and buys and the next day you do chest and tries and the next day you do legs and shoulders and he's always had this routine since we've been dating since we were in middle school I would like sometimes do it with him but I was kind of just like eh, like what do I need to do back for now I do it all and I've feel like that's made a really big difference. I was kind of like the person that would just go to the gym for 20 minutes and go on the Stairmaster and do sprints up the Stairmaster and be like, I'm done. Stairmaster said I burned 600 calories. Perfect. Bye. I run now, which I was never, ever a runner. Barely ever did a sport in my life, so I'm not a runner. I've tried to run before. It's never been for me, 
but I started running. In the beginning, I did get really bad shin splints, which I've always had. So I've never really ran before because I know that I've always had shin splints. They went away. I still get them sometimes on my one leg, but pretty much I just kind of baby stepped my way into running. Now I'm running like seven, eight miles a week which is crazy for me, okay, because like I said, not a runner, hate the treadmill, well not anymore, but I always hated the treadmill. It's just important to listen to your body, so when you're eating better, your body's just going to feel better. Since this whole like month, two months has happened, I mean, my hair has grown like crazy, like not only have I lost weight, my hair's growing, my skin is clearing up, my energy level is like through the roof compared to what it was a couple months ago. It's just crazy to see my clothes fitting differently. I just put so much stuff on Poshmark. So if you guys want some new clothes, go check out my Poshmark. I'll link it below. I'm just so happy. This is just a journey that is turning into a lifestyle. I'm starting to not be in my own head anymore and I'm starting to just be more in the moment and be more present. I wanted to share that with you guys. That's what I'm doing. This is what's working for me. It's a tough topic and not a lot of people want to talk about it and I never would have thought that I would talk about it. Like if you asked me to do a video like this a year ago, you know, where I was a lot heavier, I would probably lie to you guys about my weight. Like if I was 180, I would probably hop on here and be like, so today I'm like 170. Three. Just at this place in my life where I just want to be really raw with you guys and I want to help people because this is just something that's haunted me for so long and I know that a lot of other people go through this. Just being where I am right now, I already feel so much like lighter. Like I feel like there's like less on my shoulders, less on my chest and happier. Like I'm genuinely happier because like truly the root of most of my problems was this battle that I was kind of facing internally. So I do feel better. Don't let anybody tell you that, oh, you think you're gonna lose weight and you know, everything's gonna be fine. It probably will be better. It's, it actually is going to be better, okay? You might still have problems, like you might still get a flat tire. You might not wanna go to work that day. You might get a breakout. You might have drama with your friends, but like you are going to feel better. And that's just the best way I can describe it. I just want you guys to know that you can do it and you can always reach out to me. I just wanted to kind of put this platform out there for people who ask their questions because it's easier for me to just talk, talk, talk rather than type. Just the reactions that I've had, it just shows how many other people are actually going through similar things or have gone through it. And like I said to you guys, I've been through it all with this. Like the eating problems, throwing up, starving, like, like, I've, I've, I've been through it all. I just wanted to put that out there and just say that because that's not going to fix anything. I just wish that I could go there right now and stop myself from throwing things up and just letting myself know that that's not going to work and it's not going to do anything. And I'm literally only hurting myself. Just like a release somehow. Like, I was like taking control over my own body when this whole time I had control over my, over my body. I'm going to leave that there. I can keep talking about this forever. But if you guys like this type of video, please give it a thumbs up so I know that I can make more. And if there's something you guys want to know more about or a topic that you want a video to kind of focus more on, let me know. I'm an open book. Just told you guys how much I weigh. Okay, my book is wide open, so do not be afraid to ask me anything. Don't feel stupid to ask me anything. I feel silly making this video, so <laughs> don't, feel, don't feel silly to ask anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. <sighs> I guess I'll see you guys next time.